8,365 pounds, Rockwood 8329 Signature Series here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is just a shiny, high-class beauty of what I like to refer to as a portable park model because it has an extra tall ceiling, a big triple slide floor plan, king bed, double air conditioner, you know, dual on maximum awning coverage. The awning space on this is obviously tremendous, but at 8,300 and change, it's still very towable. So uh, if what you're looking for is that Snowbird RV where you're gonna be here in the Midwest and then you're gonna travel to, you know, sun country come snowflake season, this, is like one of the best things I could possibly imagine to fit that description. And with the slides closed, you're greeted with a big view of the side of a slide out. You're also going to find that uh, with the slides closed, you are pretty limited in your access. You can get to a little kitchen storage. You can't get to the fridge, maybe the freezer, uh, without opening a slide out, but you'll always be able to get to the bedroom and bathroom if you are going down the road. So let's get her open up because something like this, this is really a trailer I like to call a portable park model. It's light enough to move, but it's big enough to really set up shop when you get there and stay a long time. We're going to talk about a lot of really great qualities on this Rockwood as we go. But one of the things that where they're kind of like best in class is they have more lights per square foot than anyone else in this category. This thing just lights up like a Christmas tree. It's crazy. Another area that is easy to miss but it's easy, like people walk in, they go, oh man, I mean, it just feels more open in here. Is it the color patterns or what is it? And that's kind of part of it, but this is bigger. This is taller. Um, a normal Rockwood has a six and a half foot sidewall with a two and a half inch mini vault. And this does still carry that mini vault, but it actually has taller sidewalls. The Signature Series has six foot nine walls plus a vault. And that gives us like a near park model sort of feeling. And that's another one of those reasons why I like to call these Rockwood Signatures portable park models because they have that big open feel. But, you know, despite its size, it is built to like ultralight fashion. So uh, it keeps it fairly towable given its size. You know, the weight category is not out of control. Now we're going to come back to the kitchen, but I do love the way that they do the island in this uh, model here at Halet RV because they don't put the sink in the middle of the island. I like that the island is pure, wide open prep space. It seems like a lot of RVs, they want to put that sink right in the middle here. But like if you go to homes, most homes don't have the sink in the island. Most homes have the sink in the countertop. And that's where this Rockwood's a little more like at home in that regard. Now, part of the reason they went with taller sidewalls is it allowed them to get taller slide outs. And this has a larger nine cubic foot fridge and freezer. As a result, it's a very odd size. You don't see a nine cube very often. Uh, but hey, you know what? I'll take every ounce of cold space I can because, you know, there's plenty of different cabinets in here. There's plenty of different places to keep dry goods, but there's only one place to keep cold storage. So anything they can do to kind of maximize that effectiveness, I am all about it. And this is a great couples model, as we'll see more and more as we go. But we do still have a full trifold sleeper sofa right here. So when you do have guests over, even adult guests, because it's not always just about grandkids or anything, you know, not, not it's <laughs> grandpa and grandma are not the only ones that buy a beautiful Rockwood signature like this. So whether it's littles or bigs, we got room to, uh, you know, bring a couple people along for, uh, you know, extended weekend if need be. Now, you can see that we have storage cabinets above the seating areas there. It's important to mention here that what we're looking at, man, this RV, we could have two of these in stock equipped identically, but cosmetically unbelievably different. Rock, uh, like we are looking at the upgraded maple hardwood, uh, you know, cabinet selection, and it does upgrade us from flat panel cabinetry to that beautiful raised panel maple hardwood doors. But you're always going to get nicer materials like real wood fascia all the way through. This is a very nice material premium trailer pocket screwed cabinetry. We've added the raised panel cabinet doors to this one. This is the chocolate decor. There's also wood print flooring going on. But almost any surface we're looking at, other than like the countertop and the wall panels, could be different from the one that we have in stock. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, what's cool here is you've got these dual sofa side windows. And they both open for airflow, which is handy. You also have dual recliner side stands, both with storage and household outlets, which is nice. 
So, you know, if you need to sit back here, you want to power up a fan, a little, you want to put a reading light in the back, although you have lighting above that, you wouldn't need to do that, but phone chargers, whatever, you can do it. In fact, all of the windows are going to open for airflow, and that's one of the cool aspects of this floor plan, is that it gives you windows on the driver's side, on the rear, and on the uh, door side of the RV, so you can, you have awesome visibility of your campsite. Very cool on certain sites where, like, maybe you're backed up to a lake or something, you know, this would be great. So the dual individual recliners right here, this is something that, you know, in like 2011 and 2012, the RV business was nuts for rear recliners. And then it kind of fizzled a little bit, but this Rockwood has uh, maintained popularity, and I think it's just because it's such a well-executed model. It was just the best of the best, and it survived where so many others did not. But what's nice is they give you the ability to have individual seating, more sort of elbow room so you're not kind of mashed against one another. You can turn the recliners to face the uh, big, beautiful HD TV in here. Um, the uh, freestanding table here does have an uh, extension leaf that folds up, as you can see. So when it's not just two of you, when you do have more people over, you have plenty of elbow room. And if you're not going to uh, plan on having guests, I would just recommend leaving two of those chairs at home or off to the side or something and give yourself some more room around the table which is pretty darn nice now down below that entertainment center we've got that uh 5100 uh btu electric space heater it's remote controlled so if you want some heat without burning up your propane you got it but you can also uh, just use it for led visual elements only now your stereo unit above that of course it's bluetooth it's dvd but there's a little bit different thing going on with this Rockwood, and this is something where someone without you know proper education on these RVs wouldn't be able to properly educate you on what you're potentially purchasing here. And that is that this was the uh, one of the very first towable RVs, maybe the first, I don't know, to have true dual zone entertainment. So you've got front, rear, and outside speaker zones, but this stereo system, this chipset, actually allows you to have different entertainment going in different zones. So if you want to watch TV in here and have interior surround sound going, you can. And then if you want to have like stereo going separately outside, you can also do that. And that is a very uncommon feature in the RV business. Usually whatever entertainment you have going on through that stereo broadcast inside, outside, upside down, but not here in this Rockwood. Now, uh, we'll, again, we'll, we'll zero in on this island in just a minute. Actually, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's open things up and take a look at all the storage that we have going on in the uh, 8329 at Halid RV. So you can see the TV swings out. Um, that's not so much for viewing, because it's on a nice angle where it's easy to view pretty much anywhere in the living area. But this really heavy-duty swing out, it makes for full, easy access to the storage behind it. It also means that if you want to get to things like these extra HDMI plugs right here, you can if you want to expand your entertainment. Plus, you also have a face-mounted HDMI plug right here on that uh, stereo system that we already talked about. Now, uh, the island has residential power outlets on both sides of it. So that is one of the things this kitchen's awesome for. There's always easy access power outlets in this thing. And since there's no sink in it and they don't need to worry about plumbing, well, it's just easier to have a lot more storage. Now, not only do we have nicer hardwood cabinet doors going on here, but the, uh, all the cabinet doors in this are also going to be hidden hinge doors. And I love the fact that they don't just give you a place where you could add a couple stools for a breakfast bar, but they actually uh, give you the stools as well. Now, um, the countertops in here are all solid surface, and you can see you've got a tremendous amount of prep space in here that is really... Uh, eclipsed only by the total storage capacity in, in all the cabinet space. This is this is a really well executed kitchen. Like we've got, remember, taller ceilings. That means taller overhead cabinets. They've got that extra little spice rack above the sink right there. Uh, again, more easy reach power outlets. That is a very large stainless sink. Let me open one of these solid surface covers up here to give you a look at that. You've got double large stainless sink. So this is flush mount prep space if you need it. Again. Nicer material premium trailer. Do the little wedding ring tap test, if you will. Now, down here, under the sink, we've got uh, dedicated space for a wastebasket. And, hey, look at Rockwood. Oh, of course they include it because, you know, of course they do. Now, we've got uh, hidden hinge cabinetry, but we also have soft closed drawers. Isn't that a cool thing so that if this thing bounces open in transit, well, first of all, it's, it's really hard to do, but it'll try to keep itself closed. And uh, over here, give you just a quick look. Note, too, that Rockwood gives you a larger oven. That's a larger 22-inch oven versus a uh, more common 16-inch oven. And even that little drawer 
below the oven has uh, a residential soft close mechanism. In fact, when we go into the bedroom, you'll see that it's not just the kitchen, but it's every zone in this RV gets the same treatment, regardless uh, of whether it's kitchen, whether it's bedroom or whatever. Oh, and the microwave is like 40% bigger. It's a 1.3 cubic foot versus a, a more kind of like 0.9 cubic foot. So just every little thing they could do, they took it up to the next level. Uh, right by the entry door, right when you walk in, is our master control panel. And leave it to Rockwood to take this also up a notch. They even took their control panel up a notch. So remember that uh, true dual zone, dual zone stereo that we already looked at? Well, there's a free app you can get for that. You can control it from your phone. There's also an app you can get for your uh, command center right here. And uh, so that basically anything you can do on this, awning, slides, tank heaters, because this does have 12 volt tank heating pads on it, you can activate all that from your phone. Where that's kind of cool, guys, is if you're going down the road and you're like, dang, we are going through cold country, we weren't expecting it, you could grab your phone out of your pocket, activate your trailer's 12 volt tank heaters, and never stop flying down the highway because this thing has incredible range. It's, it's really cool. Plus, hey, Wi-Fi Ranger giving us easier access to uh, mobile data sources all the time. So every little thing they do here, it, it, like I said, it, they just kick it up a notch. Now, bathroom is dual entry. A lot of these bigger bedroom slide uh, travel trailers seem to have uh, dropped this feature. And that's one of the reasons we like this one here at Halet RVs, because it brings some different things to the table. We've got the... Uh, uh, foot flush porcelain stool right here. Above us, we've got a bigger, nicer Max Air vent fan. And wherever you see a ceiling fan in any Rockwood travel trailer, it's going to be the bigger, nicer Max Air vent fan. And it will also have the matching Max Air vent cover on the roof pre-installed from the factory level. Now, coming down here, we have a stainless sink in the kitchen. Then you get here, and your knee-jerk reaction is to go, oh, I see what they did. They went cheap and uh, they went plastic and the answer is nope this is stone cast that's not plastic that you're hearing right there this is rated for up to 500 degrees i don't think you can even get 500 degree water here in this bathroom not to mention the fact it's enormous it's actually fit for adult hands isn't that cool now remember how we have a taller ceiling that means we have a taller shower, and they put a bigger radius enclosure on it with an easy step in as opposed to a you know big travel trailer tub step up. And hey, why not throw a skylight up there just to, in case you happen to be like nine feet tall so that you're not going to hit your head on anything. And this is something right here that Rockwood's been great about for so many years. Dedicated linen storage right in the bathroom of their RVs. That is, I think, one of the things that has helped Rockwood... Uh, not just achieve, but maintain its status as the single best-selling uh, laminated trailer on the market for a lot of years now. Now, what we're looking at here is a couple options in the bedroom. This has an optional second air conditioner shown here in this video. Remember that the one that we're looking at might be different from the one that's in stock. That's a really important thing for people to remember. Kind of like a car commercial. That's not the car that's going to be at the dealership. This just happens to be a dealership making a video, but with the number of them that we sell, it's possible there's going to be variants. So, typically though, this this one is built to our common specs. We do like to add 50 amp service and a second air conditioner to these big Rockwood signatures because it's a lot of cubic foot of space and we feel that you're really going to want that. Now, this is a uh, you know taller bedroom slide to give it a more luxurious, expansive feel. And it allowed them room for slide side windows and an overhead cabinet. But something that's important to note is that is the same full three foot deep slide in the bedroom that you might have like in the living room slide. So it's a full depth, extra deep bedroom slide. And what that allows for here, well, and before I get there, also optional king bed. Uh, you know, these have been king capable for years, but with the demand that we're hearing from people for king beds, we said, hey, why not? Let's knock it out. Now, again, remember the one in stock might be a little different, but this is typically how we're going to have them. So back to the task at hand. What I was saying is bigger, deeper bedroom slide allows for, uh, you know, bigger, deeper additional floor space in here. And note that they move their floor heating vent for the bedroom in an off zone. It's actually under the overhead cabinet. So, I mean, you're going to have to go out of your way to step on that, but it's going to provide you better um, heating here in the bedroom area of your Rockwood Signature. And how's that for underbed storage? Holy cow. Now, you've got the drawers here for easy access. So you, you really don't generally need to lift the bed. But if you do, it's very easy with a set of gas struts plus 
you can see any any like furniture or structure Rockwood builds, it's all aluminum skeleton. And that's just, it's just one of those extra over the top things that they're doing. Now, you do have outside storage access that goes under the headboard of the bed area. You can get to it from inside if you're so inclined. But you notice how they also put a little partition wall in there. Now there's an easy thing to overlook here that I really want to point out to you. And that is, you see how there's a couple little wood blocks stuffed inside that aluminum tubing right there. Anywhere that they do have to screw through the aluminum tubing like that instead of weld it, they will go ahead and put a wood gusset inside of it so that uh, you do have that extra sort of meat inside there for a screw to bite into and it won't crush an aluminum tube. It's just really smart because the air guns they use at the factory level are pretty darn powerful. Now, more, <laughs> more of those residential soft closed drawers down here. I mean, you've just huge dresser space in this. And I love the fact that they were able to give us this big hanging wardrobe closet without losing that beautiful front windshield that is one of the more popular features of a Rockwood. So let me get this bed out of the way. Hold on. So there you go. You still have that beautiful front windshield. And of course, there are day-night privacy shades on that, just like the rest of the windows. But note, too... You do have a nice little side stand over here, little charging station, and you've got the little shelves uh, by the headboard area of the bed inside of there, and there is also a power outlet down here on this side of the bed, so no matter where you're at, you're always going to be able to have things turned on, charged up, CPAPs running, horns blazing, whatever, um, and if you choose to add a TV to the bedroom, blammo, set and ready to go directly across from the bed for easy viewing. Now, Rockwood's never really been known to be a minimalist brand, and the Signature Series is most certainly not anything in the way of minimalist. So, you know, we've got all kinds of great qualities, but I did want to begin outside by popping these awnings open, and I stress plural because you've got, obviously, dual power awnings right here giving you, just like, what, roughly 30 foot uh, or so of shaded patio space, something pretty close to that, closer to 30 than 25, I bet you. Um, they are both power awnings, and we have built this one with optional shielded awnings. If you look up at the base of the awning, you can actually see the little shield hanger kind of hanging out there. So that when this thing is rolled up, when it's in storage, when it's on the road, the awning material itself is not subject to, uh, you know, brutal, harsh exposure. Now, uh, you know, full-length LED lighting below both of the awnings. Mr. Jody there doing some quality control for us on a new RV that just arrived. That's something that we're very proactive and aggressive about here at Halet RV, is making sure that everything is in good working order before you take it home. He does a surface inspection, and then before you take it home, it will have gone through two full burns so that any reasonable failure has been caught, addressed, and repaired, if need be, before you ever take it home. Because we like to be proactive and not reactive when it comes to RV service and customer service at Halet RV. Once again, remember that just because this is how it looks on this video doesn't necessarily mean this is how it looks in person. We could have a different, completely differently equipped looking whatever model in stock. Now, let's talk about some of the awesome qualities that are here. And Rockwood offers some upgrades that normally you only find in high-end luxury fifth wheels like not only do we have the dual power awnings but remember that they have aluminum shrouds on them which is really cool that's an optional piece of equipment you can add here you might notice that protective slide awning on that uh, rear slide there getting slide awnings from rockwood is so much less expensive than ever getting it from any dealer ever. It's silly not to get it from the factory level if that's a feature that you are interested in getting. Um, that is something that we put on our Rockwoods 10 times out of 10. There's a uh, just this minuscule chance that we have one in stock without it. And that could be like if, because this is a popular model. Rockwood's a popular brand, as I've mentioned before. And if we blow through our inventory, which happens with regularity, and we call down the factory like, well, we had some other dealer who backed up us uh, uh, on us on one. We might go ahead and snag that. So it is possible to get an atypical oddball in there. Uh, our entry door, simple and easy. We've got a uh, you know bigger, wider 30-inch entry door, and it's anti-slam, which is handy. You can see the bigger handle. And, of course, the more ride uh, you know stable steps. But, as always... Rockwood doing Rockwood things. They never use just the basic version of anything because if I fling this open with its anti-slam goodness here, you actually have to really open these quite a bit. You see that little mechanical mechanism right there? 
Well, Rockwood uses the zero G stable step system so that this thing does not fall on your head. It doesn't crush you. It's not going to kill your dog, anything like that. It's just simpler, easier. It's lighter weight. You know, if you got a bad shoulder, rotator cuff surgery or whatever, this is perfect. Um, outside TV and grilling station. If you do choose to go whole hog on outdoor entertainment, you've got a full on tailgate station here. TV hookups, you've got your grill set up, and you do have a uh, outside gas grill below here. Now there's different configurations you can put these into. We like to give it, I mean, obviously we've got a power tongue jack, power awnings, and we also like to put the power stabilizer jacks on here so that every single thing on this is high class, push button and easy. Fully painted uh, nose cap here, and it's easy to miss the fact that if we get up close, you can see it. It does have sort of like, almost like a truck bed spray on liner guard for the stone guard. That's something that they spend extra money on. You can save a tremendous amount of money in RV production, guys, by going to more of that three quarter cap design with the lower diamond plate. And don't get me wrong, it's very functional and it looks good. But the Rockwoods, they're about going all the way over the top on everything they can every time. Now we've got, uh, you know, front windshields are all over the place in the business now. Like Cougar's really gone whole hog on it. A lot of brands have. White Hawk, for example. You can thank Rockwood for that. There's a lot of brands that used to do front windows and then a lot of brands quit doing it. Rockwood was not one of those. They never stopped doing front windows and they were the first to adopt a true automotive front windshield at the factory level. And I think that's absolutely awesome. And God, does that have a look to it. Man alive, does that look good. Remember that extra deep bedroom slide I was telling you about? I wasn't joking, it's huge. Now this is all aluminum skeleton. You've got laminated roof, uh, vaulted laminated roof actually, laminated walls, laminated slide boxes, and uh, aluminum skeleton floor with a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor deck. So they're using heavy duty fifth wheel construction on the flooring, because if you want a good house, Hey, start with a good foundation, right? Now, neat little thing up here, not just a power tongue jack, but it's a smart jack. What this does, guys, is you can uh, basically program your hitch height memory so that when you are ready to get hitched up, you tap the button uh, effectively, and it will drop itself back to the appropriate height of your hitch so that you're not sitting there holding the button. Not that on a power jack it's hard. It's just that, hey, huh, it's Rockwood, man. They're gonna go all the way on this thing. Now, uh, here's that storage under the bed I was telling you about. And even, like, you can see how even this, like, odds, like, off door, compartment door here, it's still uh, a magnet holdback. It's still a compression, or pardon me, a metallic slam latch, not even a plastic compression latch here. Now, that grilling station, the outside grill, and you might see this little uh, resin top table. They are included with every one of these. That's like not an additional charge kind of item. And look at that, where they have to, they'll double up on the aluminum studding. The construction of these is fantastic. Another thing is the service records and the warranty fulfillment support, the little that we do need, is also excellent. Uh, your uh, dump station's kind of all located right here and I like the location of the outside shower and that courtesy light. But look at this attention to detail. Something I didn't mention in the bedroom is that there's a little hold back on the bedroom door so it's not constantly bouncing against the wall. But if you open the water heater door, they even add this little stopper here so that it doesn't slam against the side of the trailer. And it also does not have any chance of blocking that furnace exhaust or intake because that would be bad news. Now down here, this is important to talk about because this is a best in class feature, I think. And that is the uh, full torsion, not just axles, but suspension system. It's four wheel independent suspension that uh, it's not leaf sprung together. So they're not uh, sort of uh, bucking and chucking against one another. And really what this does for us guys, especially you know those like curly Q exits that make you motion sick off the highway, it'll help this thing handle like it's on rails because they transfer stress from areas of high stress to low stress so that the trailer remains flat and level in towing instead of leaning from side to side as much as anything could reasonably manage that. And Rockwood Signatures all have a, an extremely high gloss sidewall package here and standard frameless windows because this is more than just about, um, you know, being good, this one is also about looking good. This is something that you uh, you know, you know, take home, you feel really proud of looking at, and we are going to go ahead and uh, get this trailer moved so that we can get behind it and really do this thing the justice that it deserves. Back here we have all LED tail and marker lights. Something people don't always know about LED tail lights is they're either on or off. They have like no like ramp up, start up flash time as compared to incandescent bulbs. 
which have to, uh, you know, they sort of take a minute to, to come to light. Well, when you're going at 60 mile an hour, that extra little millisecond or two, that translates into up to five feet of additional stopping time for the person behind you. That's, that's an important safety item. I mean, very. So again, we've got those good looking frameless windows, but remember that the slide side windows will open for airflow. Uh, so that, you know, you've always got the, the best mix of air and, uh, you know, looks. Now, you do also have a little storage pocket even right behind the entertainment center because they're not going to waste anything. This does have an enclosed underbelly. I forgot. I, <laughs> those things stayed right there when we scooted the trailer forward. That is just impressive. That I didn't even think about that. That is very impressive right there. Um, what was I getting at? Oh, I got... I got, I got amazed by something shiny sorry uh, we do have an enclosed underbelly and remember we do have 12 volt tank heating pads and all the holding tanks so uh, if you're going down the road you can use them in motion and even up here on the roof of this one there's there's still excellent points to talk about even on the roof of this rockwood the first of which is something you can't really experience unless you're in person on the roof of an rv and that is that this thing has like one of the sturdiest like least flexing roofs I've really ever been on. I think the Keystone like Cougar travel trailers feel very similar to me. It just everything is super solid under your feet. And what's interesting is I always wondered if that was just in my head, you know, because uh, I don't know. I'm on a lot of these RVs, and sometimes your mind just plays tricks with you. Things mishmash together a little bit. And I was talking with uh, someone who started as a, a viewer like you and kind of became a little bit of a little internet friend. His name is Mr. Johan Schnell down in Florida. He originally had a Jayco RV, and they've got an incredibly strong roof system. It's rated for like 4,800 pounds. But it feels a little flexy, and I understand why it does. There's nothing wrong with it, but it feels that way. And then he swapped that out, and he got himself a Rockwood Roo Travel Trailer Hybrid. And he was walking down the roof of it doing some upkeep because down in Florida, it's sun country. You know, he gets baked down there and he has to take care of it. And he does a good job. But he goes, man, it feels like I feel safer up here. Like I feel like it's stronger. And it's kind of interesting because I always sort of felt the same way, you know. Now over here, this is our Wi-Fi Ranger. Uh, to put it simply, it's basically the RV has a built-in router. You know, it's uh, but you can also plug in one of those little like, um, you know, Verizon or Sprint cards or whatever, you know, USB sticks if you want to, uh, you know, get like LTE mobile data as opposed to just utilizing park Wi-Fi. Uh, also, remember, Max Air Vent fan up here. Anywhere you see a power roof fan in a Rockwood, it's the bigger one. And uh, you also get the Max Air fan as part of that. And what's neat is that's now guaranteed by Rockwood's warranty. You're not going to have to try to take a dealer's word for it that it's going to do its job. Now over here, right in front of that, you have this interesting little, it's actually kind of like an upside down airplane wing. And this is your black tank chimney exhaust cap. And what that's doing is that design is proven to pull like uh, better airflow out of your black tank uh, so that you, you get better exhaust of like odors and things building up from normal chemical breakdown processes. And of course up front here, remember this is a second air conditioner that we've added to this one, may or may not be present on the RV that we have in stock. But I also want to point out the fact that you can see they're anything but stingy with their uh, sealant use at Rockwood. They, <laughs> they, they do a lot of things and uh, you know, a lot of sealant is part of that equation right there. And that's kind of why I like these guys, is that even where you're not looking, they're still doing it. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Whether it's new or used, economy to excitement, hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. We've only got 20 acres of awesome here at Halet RV, so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Look, look at Chris, our service manager down there. Look at him walking all swaggery. He doesn't even know he's on candid camera. Gotcha, buddy. <laughs>